Obama wanted ISIS to grow, close quote. They didn't just want it to grow. It's Al-Qaeda out of Saudi Arabia. It's an invasion of Syria. That's been declassified. And they sit there with this trillion pound creature in the living room telling us we're stupid and conspiracy terrorists when I have Colonel Schaefer, the former head of the anti-Al-Qaeda operation with over a thousand people under him trying to hunt down Al-Qaeda for four years. And I've had, you name it, congressmen on, Walter Jones, everybody that's seen the secret documents. And if you think that's high up, imagine who I talked to on the telephone, as high as it goes. And everybody already knows that when they're doing the big invasion of Syria, calling it a civil war, just like they've done in Libya. The West starts a civil war with jihadis out of Saudi Arabia and other areas. But now in Syria, it's easier for troops to get to. They're coming in from all over the world. Jihadis from Russia, jihadis from America, the UK, uh, Australia, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, Serbia, Albania. I mean, they're just pouring in for the big jihad to get their own house, get their own land. You come take the country, you get houses, swimming pools, everything. You get the businesses, the oil wells, everything that Syria ever built in thousands of years, you get it. Oh yes, the Council on Foreign Relation private meetings that Hillary and John Kerry were at. You think somebody recorded those? You think somebody recorded those, Hoss? You think we don't have people everywhere, jackass? It's all out there. So damaging, it may destroy this country. But before you're able to strangle it for sure and destroy it, it's going to be released. All of it. So you broke your deal with Trump, you weasels, because a lot of this probably doesn't need to come out it's so bad. It needs to be reformed, taken care of, people need to be dealt with. A lot of folks need to get cancer. We're the real fast acting type. They need to agree to it. But no, you're gonna go on to the end, you're not gonna stop. You're gonna try to keep trying to sabotage things once Trump gets in, we understand that. We know you're not gonna go away. We understand you're never going to back off. We get it. And so you wanna have a big fight? You wanna have a big civil war? Fill your hand, go ahead. You don't think everybody's been running around forever getting ready for this? You stupid, arrogant people. You'd hijack the top of the country, you'd looted us, you'd rob the seven ways of Sunday, but you had to rub it in. You had to get up on TV like a bunch of megalomaniacs and go, and your kids belong to us and the state and we ripped you off of Obamacare and God, the public's dumb. <laughs> a bunch of weird chicken neck Harvard guys having little wimp celebrations about how they destroyed America and how they were better than us. Yeah, you're about to find out. So here's the big announcement, just in total. Is this a labyrinth of evidence? The globalists are losing everywhere. People don't want this tyrannical new world order global government model. We're not even debating whether world government's good or bad. Let's just cut that out for academic reasons. This world government is nothing but a corporate looting arm, which admits it wants a post-industrial world, the end of nation states, only trade corridors, 99% of stuff collapses, and then the elites have high-tech city states that are heavily guarded and controlled, and everybody else lives in squalor, and people say, oh, there's a movie about that. There's books, Hunger Games. I told you this 20 years ago. I put it in films 15 years ago. It, no, that's art imitating life, folks. It's what's going on. So here's the big announcement. WikiLeaks and a whole bunch of other groups. WikiLeaks is just some branding name. Obama and the globalists desperately want to keep Trump out of office. Globalism's failing all over the world. Nationalism and, and, and populism is surging. The elite in every major publication admit to themselves they are burning down in a day. Babylon's burning in a day. I mean, the next few years is like a minute in the, in the scheme of human history. So a day is like a year. So there's this war going on currently, and they've told him, okay, all this horrible stuff, we don't want to release more. Stop it, admit your beat, back off. Let us cut the taxes, let us resuscitate the country. Just stop this ritual of abusing America for your own personal weird leftist mind control. Stop it. And they went, okay, we're gonna stop it. And then came right back attacking behind the scenes and now publicly. And so when they say, oh, there's Russian agents hacked us, the kernel of truth is our military and our patriots checkmated Obama with the proof of this and said, you let us now take these groups out or we're gonna release all the info. And again, Obama said, okay, I will, but then always sabotage the missions. It's the same deal. Okay, I'll back off, but then he never really does. So they've been through this six or seven times now with Obama and the globalists. So the Russians said, okay, we'll talk to your military. Sure, we'll talk to your chairman of the Joint Chiefs. Sure, we'll talk to all the heads of your military. Oh, you want us to come in? You know we're already there. You know we're already losing thousands of troops every few months. Oh, sure, you're, you're not gonna give us a problem if Air Force comes in. Okay, we'll divide the country in three parts. We'll even go with your previous plan. Sure, we just wanna stop World War III. Boom, we're coming in, they come in. And they join U.S. military forces now there who know everything they do has been given to the ISIS people days beforehand. So now the military started doing tests in the last year, giving false info back to the Pentagon, knowing they've got moles inside there from Soros. And then, the, and then they're even using that in disinfo to get the ISIS people to attack the wrong spot. And they're like, oh my God, Obama is feeding intelligence directly to ISIS. Well, of course he is. Saudi intelligence and the Chinese intelligence basically runs that thing. We've got congressmen introducing bills to stop funding ISIS. We have Democrats coming out and speaking out as well. We have Democrats coming out and saying, oh, Obama, we got hacked two years ago in the big giant hack of all time, 14 million US government's names, infos, code names, everything, all their operatives, total roll up. There's no way they just got that. You gave it to them, didn't you? Oh, that's right. Oh, the Russians are getting us, oh, the Russians. Obama rolled up our entire intelligence network worldwide, the Chicoms.
That's why the intelligence agencies are in total war mode against Obama, because they realize it's a triple cross. <laughs> In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalists. InfoWars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of The Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. If you can hear my voice, you are the resistance. Obama wanted ISIS to grow, close quote. They didn't just want it to grow. It's Al-Qaeda out of Saudi Arabia. It's an invasion of Syria. That's been declassified. And they sit there with this trillion pound creature in the living room telling us we're stupid and conspiracy theorists when I have Colonel Schaefer, the former head of the anti-Al-Qaeda operation with over a thousand people under him trying to hunt down Al-Qaeda for four years. And I've had, you name it, congressmen on, Walter Jones, everybody that's seen the secret documents. And if you think that's high up, imagine who I talk to on the telephone, as high as it goes. And everybody already knows that. When they're doing the big invasion of Syria, calling it a civil war, just like they've done in Libya, the West starts a civil war with jihadis, 